2020 we're here with it here even with the gymless coaches rundown now the reason why I don't have Tammy stood behind me today is because today is the same as last week now don't get upset and kind of bored with this whole routine of linear progression because don't forget at the end of the day when there's too much variance a lot of the time athletes don't get the opportunity to actually see the progression and feel the progression and have a chance to move through potential progressions in terms of the exercise. For example, strict handstand push up different levels, increasing loads, and increasing rep schemes. So, what we're looking for today is a choice of two things. You can either increase your reps from last week. So, if you can't add any more weight to your object already, you maybe have a backpack and it doesn't go any heavier than 16 kilos, then rather than hitting 10 reps this week, we look to hit 12 reps, 15 reps, 17 reps, whatever it might be depending on the rep scheme that we have available for you. If you hit the top end of a rep scheme and you still have the opportunity to add more weight, then today we look to add a bit more load to your working sets. Remember, there's always infinite ways to be able to progress things. If you do have any questions with it, do shoot us a uh, question in the water cooler and we'll do our best to get back to you. As always, have a great week. Start it off right. For your warm up today, two to three rounds of 10 quadruped scapular push ups, as Tammy is doing. Hands on the floor, knees on the floor, just working on scapula protraction and retraction. Into five, perfect stretch on either side. Take your foot next to your hand, try to reach down to it, and then reach up to the sky, keeping the back leg off the floor. You'll then go into 10 slow prone shoulder taps on each side. Again, we're looking for trunk stiffness whilst you do this. Your hips should be in line with the shoulders like you would be completing a push-up. We'll then stand up and go into five reverse lunges on each side. Stepping back, coming all the way back up, kissing the knees to the floor. Then into 10 yoga push-ups. In the yoga push-up, we look to complete a regular push-up and then drive back towards what you would normally call a downward dog. Think about pressing the shoulders to the ears as you push the nose towards your toes. You'll then move into five kickstand toe touches per side, nice and slow, nice and deliberate, looking to open up that posterior chain, just like Tammy is doing, and then into your 20 to 30 second hollow body hold. Remember, it is a warm up, so if you need to start with a regression like Tammy is doing, you can start on a bent knee or go to the full position arms extended, legs extended, 20 to 30 seconds. For your A work today, every 75 seconds for eight to 10 sets, depending on what you want as an athlete today, you will complete in the first set, your five to 10 reps of a pulling movement. We will demonstrate the aqua bag, pronated bent over row, hinging at the hip, as much range as possible, rowing up and controlled tempo on the way down. Remember, we're looking for eight, five to 10 reps of whatever movement you are doing. After you've done that for 75 seconds, your five to 10 reps, when the clock hits 75 seconds, we're then gonna go into eight to 10 reverse split squats per leg. Now, what this is gonna look like, Tammy will step back, and then the knee, you notice her right knee actually still stays over the toe in a split squat style. It isn't a traditional lunge where your shin goes vertical. We're trying to keep that knee over the toe, looking for a little bit more quad activation and drive as you come out the, the split squat. Don't forget you'll complete eight to 10 reps on both legs. So all 10 on one side, then all 10 on the other side afterwards. For your B work, similar setup to the A work, every 75 seconds for eight to 10 sets. The first 75 seconds, you'll complete four to 10 reps of a strict handstand push-up. Make sure you check out the coach's notes and see which level you are at. Tammy is gonna demonstrate the regular back to wall strict handstand push-up, which is level four, two reps, head touch to the floor, full lock out at the top. Beautiful, four to 10 reps. That's the first 75 seconds. The next 75 seconds will complete eight to 10 single leg Romanian deadlift on each leg. Tammy will use the kettlebell to demonstrate. We'll first demonstrate the kickstand Romanian deadlift. So Tammy is holding the kettlebell in her left hand. The left heel comes up. The right leg is working. She'll hinge through the hip to her end range, stand back up. 
Notice how she's trying to load up her front leg, which is the right leg, and snapping up. Remember, it's eight to 10 reps per side. If this is too comfortable for you and you'd like to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can actually take your left leg off the floor, still bow forward through, looking on keeping the pelvis and hips nice and square. We don't want to see rotation. So if Tammy demonstrates a poor rep as the hips open up, you can see how she's rotating there. There's no control through the pelvis and hips. As much control as you can, nice and smooth, nice and steady. Your C work will be a six to eight minute EMOM, again, depending on how you're feeling for the day. The first minute you'll complete 20 to 30 seconds of hip flexion isometric holds. Now we're gonna go through all four levels here. The first level will be seated like Tammy is, and she's gonna place her hands on an elevated surface. We have yoga blocks in here. Of course, you can do this with a backpack on either side of you. You can do this with books, whatever you want. It just helps you to drive your hands down into the elevated surface and it helps to just bring your feet up off the floor. So Tammy will press down into the yoga blocks and lift her legs up and hold for 20 to 30 seconds. Now that's, now that's way too easy for Tammy, so we're gonna get those blocks out of the way and she's gonna put her hands on the floor, which is just gonna make it a little bit harder. Same thing, press down and bring the heels up off the floor. Bum still stays on the floor and she'll rest there. The next one we can do, you can either do your L-sit hanging from a bar, supported on parallels, or you can do it on the floor, so it will be a bent knee L-sit. So the Tammy's hands are gonna press into the floor and she's gonna go into a bent knee L-sit now. This is challenging, it is hard. She's gonna tuck the knees up and press into the floor, bring your butt off the floor. Yeah, so she's just supporting the yoga blocks, bringing the knees up and resting there. Level four, she would just do the same thing, but her legs would be straight rather than a bent knee variation. Beautiful, and rest. 20 to 30 seconds. Your even minute, or your next minute, will be 10 to 15 prone Ys, followed by 10 to 15 prone Ts. Now the prone Y, think about Tammy's body being straight, her arms will create the shape of a Y, thumbs up to the sky, and she's going through 10 to 15 reps Nice and smooth and controlled, a little bit slower. Think about one second up, one second down. After 10 to 15 Y, she'll then go to a T position, arms straight out to the side, thumbs up, up and squeeze, 10 to 15 reps. Again, we're looking to get an upper back pump here whilst we're doing this. 